Hello everyone welcome to Channel Nitrix Today we have a device from the GPD G1 The company we are doing a comprehensive review of the device and testing the external graphics processing unit integrated with the device let's take a look first I really liked the texture on the outer box of this memory stick it feels very textured open the chest before our eyes it is a gpd memory body color matching of small objects is still classic gpd style look at the accessories comes with a usb 4 and a power cord bucklet line is a long line specially made by gpd wires by the time i sent it from memory it already was approaching the Dragon Boat Festival so the line did not arrive in time. The main content of our video or test USB 4 first set the box aside first. A quick look and configuration body. Length 22.4 cm width 11.1 cm 3 cm this thing isn't much bigger than Q4 body weight 868 grams the count of all wires should be about 2 kg oak link and USB 4 interfaces are located on the front. Of the base station the power supply is also located on the right side of the front for easy access rear power interface 3 USB SD ports. 2 DP 1.4A and 1 HDMR 2.1 still keep the traditional GPD interface complete top air inlet. Side air outlet to make sure the machine can work stably the machine is equipped with a non-removable replacement latest AMD 2 times 7600 M times T GPU 32 CU and 2300 MHz you should be able to play later point 8 G GD 26. The highest power consumption is 120 watts. The most amazing thing is that the GPD G1 graphics card house contains an integrated 240W potassium nitride power supply can pass through USB. Interface provide up to 60 watts of charging power to the device so if we have mobile needs no need to carry an extra power supply. An ingenious blend of portability and performance. It is not a base station for a graphics card, it is better to say that it is a supercharger, everyone has seen enough of the above. Check out the real performance, currently only USB 4 data on hand, because I found Codex line, but it cannot be used, I found it Q3, the Thunderbolt 3 test also marks the 720p internal display, the Q4. Test USB 4 also represents a 1080p indoor monitor. There's also the new Max 2 for testing the new USB 4U also represents the internal display of 1600 pixels. It is divided into internal and external. Screens for each machine stand alone online game play points. There is also a comparison of accessing a graphics card home without access. The test data is further measured for several days. Days, I hope it will be replaced for free liking your hand supports. Thanks for the fake pre-release data. The current test data only represents my hands actual data. It may be affected by some. Unexpected factors such as the machine motor and not to interfere the data can only represent my actual measurements the resulting data the first is the running score first let me show you GPD win 3 and GPD for win max the original running score data is 27,640 this is before we get into memory I think he's already fine windows projectors can have this performance mitigating circumstances but after Meddling with memory the good, the results are greatly improved especially in question 3. It has been improved by nearly 6 times. The original 7600 metric tons was tested in the current drive T. He obtained TS score is 10347 points. It can also be seen from this internal monitor loss under USB 4 Thunderbolt 3. It is more than 20%. It's just A. Result the loss gap in the game will only be bigger so, GPD is installing a graphics card house of course. The relative loss of Oculink is relatively small I just thought of making such a product. Take a look at the situation before and after independent access in this part of the indie game question 3. And question 4 cannot be measured big cousin 2 cannot be opened after accessing the memory both devices use the same driver drivers are not excluded x27640 you can be tested normally separate internal. 
Testing software is used increase in frame rate. It is the status that directly changes the game from unplayable to playable, but I'm not entirely satisfied with the Q3 improvement after all. Q3 is only 720 pit is not excluded that the CPU can be a calming factor under 1.4 and Mike Page 2 Horizon 5's improvement is relatively small. I suspect this has something to do with the driver because when I was given my first engineering machine Horizon 5's frame rate is higher than the nuclear screens it is definitely not true that most unexpectedly big cousin to Mike Page 2 manually. But just at all heights, the 9 frames that were never reached rose to 51. This is a bit outrageous. Let's take a look at the operating points for the external and standalone display to connect the external screen. We only want to open two screens after entering the external screen. All fractional frames have been improved again, but the running result for question 3 is broken after all. Our previous benchmark test was 720p. The test connected to the external monitor is 1440p. I feel like the CPU has cooled down a. Game testing so what? Win 3 can communicate with two other devices. They have equal shares. There is even a large portion. I don't know what to say about the Intel CPU at this time strong. Or should it be said that Thunderbolt is more stable when connected to the graphics card's home? Barrage Gods, let's cast your vote. Let's...